First of all, we have to talk about Arrested Development. Oh, fun. Because I am a huge fan. <laughs> Thanks. So we have to talk about her. What I think is so interesting is that if you look on Tumblr, she and Veal is immortalized. <laughs> she has so many gifs and memes. Why do you think that your character has resonated with so many fans? I just think it's there's something so genius about a person that's like barely there. He never knows I'm there even when I'm like standing in the room next to him or he never remembers if he's met me and all that. I think it's just like, it's such a hilariously like strange revolutionary character. Um, and I mean, everybody on that show is so funny and Amazing, I feel so honored that I got to be a part of it. It's it's really the best. Also, her middle name is Paul, which I think is so disgusting, and <laughs> Paul Veal, it's so funny. And the whole mayonnaise thing. Yeah. The, <laughs> the mayonnaise and the eggs, it's so gross, yeah. Oh, it's so cute. She sometimes takes a little pack of mayonnaise, and she'll squirt it in her mouth, all over, and then she'll take an egg, and kind of <laughs> She calls it a mayonnaise. <laughs> Are you okay? I don't feel so good. Which is interesting because you mentioned that she does fade into the background. Yeah. But she seems to have a lot of like strong opinions kind yeah. of bubbling underneath. Yeah. Occasionally they come out. Was that something that you brought to the role initially or something that you kind of found? We kind of found it. A lot of the a lot of the stuff in Arrested Development was finding it. But I think that was like a really fun angle was that she's not just super plain. Like there's actually this weird like perverted little like mind going on in there that's like manipulative <laughs> right. and has like repression of like not really expressing herself. There's like this underlying like terrifying bubbling energy. So I think it was really fun to play with that sort of like desperate aggressiveness that was like just under the surface. Yeah, I loved it. It was really, it was <laughs> really enjoyable to watch. Thank you. So speaking of fandoms, if the Sorting Hat were here right now, because I know that you're a huge Harry Potter fan. Can you imagine if it was my answer was anything other than Gryffindor? Okay, I, I'm actually Can a Ravenclaw. Imagine? Are you? I am a Ravenclaw. According this is to the Port problem, Potter. though. I have like a, I'm sure I have like a million qualities of all of them because. Hufflepuff is super like loyal and like stalwart, right? Ravenclaw's yes. really smart and like creative, yeah, kind of quirky. Creative. I mean, yeah. I can see. I feel like there's parts of that in all of me, but I feel like I would be like Harry. Like I'd be like, if you dare put me in anything other than Gryffindor, and the Sorting Hat would be like, all right, Jesus. <laughs> so, Gryffindor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's talk about the Duff, your latest mm -hmm. film. You are so real and so relatable Thank in this you. film. It was such a such a fun movie to watch. Thanks. And you have a great chemistry with your co-star Robbie Amell. Yeah. I know that you're friends with Bella Thorne mm -hmm. in real life. Um, what was that like to going to set every day? It was great. I mean, we got really lucky with the people. Everybody that we worked with was so smart and kind and funny. And plus, they let us improv a lot, which I think really helps like bring the humanity to it. And you know, for me, this role is it was really important to kind of communicate. I felt that way. I felt like a misfit in high school, and I was bullied in high school. And I've always sort of been different and interesting. And I think people have such a tendency to judge and compare and kind of glom onto that and try to put you in a box and put you down. I think. You know, that's one of my main points of, of trying to communicate this is that it is what you make it and it's great to be yourself and be different and be an individual and you know, like you don't have to subscribe to anything that doesn't feel like it makes you your best version of yourself. Thank you Mae Whitman and CBS Films for the interview and be sure to check out Mae in her latest film, The Duff. I'm Jenny Landa and thanks for watching. From when we were little, mm -hmm. I don't remember it. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa.